Welcome back. Today I'm on the Mac and I want to look at an option where you can use voice control to dictate and just control your whole Mac basically. But it's great for dictating in any application you want. Now this can be a quick one. There's a lot more to this but this will get you up and running pretty quickly. So to start, go to your app, all your system preferences in your dock. Come down to system preferences. I want you to come to accessibility and open it up for me. On the left here, when you scroll down, you get this option here that says voice control. Tap on. Now, enable that for me, and this will then enable all the commands. You can see how it's appeared top left hand corner. Say, go to sleep. And that will turn it off. And it tells you how to wake it up by saying the wake up command. Now, make sure you choose your language here and your headset. Really important. If you've got a headset, use it. They normally have noise cancel, and it really improves the quality. At the bottom here, you can have an overlay. I'll explain that in a minute, actually, because you might want to actually activate or select buttons within an application. Then we can use the command they've got there that's called show numbers as well. So I'll go into that in a minute. Now, we've got loads of options here, but quickly, vocabulary. If you're using specific words or within your degree, it could be anything from medical to law, then you could add them in here by clicking plus because you might want to put Latin names in maybe for animals in your zoology degree whatever click plus and enter it how you want it to be recognized and try that out and that should make a big difference on your vocabulary for you and we're going to commands today but have a little play with this a really powerful option now you've got loads of commands here keep it simple though new line new paragraph full stop delete word and stuff like that will all work but you've got a great option if you click little plus option you can actually create your own little commands. So when you say whatever you want here, you can choose what specific command or application you want that to work in. And once you've chosen that, you can actually choose, once you've chosen the application, what you exactly want to do in there. It might be to open finder items, or you might want it to open a URL. You can type the URL website down there if you want. I may want to paste some text, so you can have pre-formatted text in there. So when you say a specific command here, and it could be periodic table, you can have it all paste down there, then paste it into a document ready for you to work with. So again, it's about using your imagination with that. Go to press keyboard shortcut. Now you can add a shortcut in. Now we know command ends new, and we know command fees paste. And we've got various options. But if you go online, there's so many shortcuts. So you could say, for example, here, it could be a shortcut for Word to create a table quickly. So you can find out what the shortcut is. So you could say, open table, and then with the shortcut, that will activate the shortcut there for you by, as if it's pressing the shortcut on your keyboard for you. Good for working with your workflow. You can even select menus in an application. So in Word, for example, you might scroll down to Microsoft Word. And then you could put here, you want to activate a certain menu option maybe you'll go to the edit menu so every time you say something here you can kind of play around with what you want it to activate within a word document and then if you really get into it you've got run workflows as well we can choose various workflows to work with but i'll let you have a little play with that i'll click minus and then come out of there now let me show you how to work voice control so now it's done I actually tick this show accessibility status in the menu bar so you can come up the top here and access it a little bit quicker and now should we try it out currently it's in sleep mode I'll drag it over a bit so I've got to say the command to wake it up so I'm going to say it now wake up open Microsoft Word click blank document go to sleep so use the click command. You can access so many different options using the click command on your ribbon at the top as well. So bear that one in mind. Right, shall we check out the dictation, shall we? Wake up. How to manage stockholders as an in-house lawyer. New paragraph. In-house lawyer, comma, a lot of your day is likely taken up dealing with stockholders, comma, both internal and external, full stop. New line. Best practices on how to make the most out of your professional relationships, full stop. 
bold relationships. Underline stockholders. Two. Delete practices. Go to sleep. So no fancy commands, just keep it simple and it would do exactly what you say. I've not been practicing with this because I tend to use Dragon on the windows. So let me try a few other commands, see how it's working. Wake up. Show numbers. 48. Go to sleep. See how it numbers them all, so you can just say the number and jump to a specific option within your document. So that's a really good option to use as well. And if you're working away, you want to add a quick command, you can do that as well. Wake up. Open voice control preferences. Click commands. Click add. Go to sleep. So a few things to take away from this quick video tutorial. Show numbers so you can navigate quickly within a document or you can add your commands quickly by using this option here and keep it simple when you're dictating and see how you get on. Thanks for watching.